the Boston butt, there's the picnic shoulder, there's the breast, front shank, front hock, it's a, sh or it's a shank with the skin, it's a hock. Uh, hock with the skin, shank without the skin, excuse me. Um, jowl, or bonchiale, I just see we got a whole head too. So what's hanging still here is it's like a triangle basically from the side of the face. Not just the cheek, the cheek is the smile muscle inside, um, but it's literally the whole triangle of the face. Um, and then for me, I break the floor rib shoulder. That lengthens the line a little bit. Um, so then ribs five through basically through right where the lumbar vertebrae becomes sacral. So that last little bend that you can cut through it is all the joints locked together, um, just like the discs in your back. So when you have sciatica or you have bulging get discs, that means that, uh, that these little things are like are sticking out. Um, so this is the loin, this is the belly on top of the belly, is the spare ribs. Uh, there's a tender line in here. Um, this is the pork flank steak, it's one of the hidden goodies. Um, and this is the leg. Some people call it a ham, um, but it's not really a ham until it's cured in smoke. In my opinion, so fresh ham is kind of an oxymoron. Um, the way I start doing a pig is I just, I'll count, I'll poke with my knife four ribs up. So one, two, three, four, and then I cut right to the sternum. Follow, basically just follow the curvature of the rhythm. And um, I don't need a saw, it's just use gravity. So put my hook in the bottom of the neck bone. Yeah, you know, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> like you do, you know. How much did the pig weigh? Um, this guy's probably like 180, so this is 90, half pig. Um, next thing I do, uh, I kind of break the rest of this as I would a beef hind quarter. Um, in the commodity pork industry, what they'll do is they'll just split the difference between that last caudal or sacral vertebrae and the H bone. Is the pelvis. They call it mace bone because two of these bones together um, looks like a Honda symbol. <laughs> so, uh, but if I make this cut right here, what I do is I cut the pork sirloin, which is right here in half. Um, and that's, in my opinion, that's one of the best cuts. Um, so I break this more like a beef hind quarter, where I pull the tender off the H bone to here, I break the joint, and then I have the, the option of either having the whole tender line, because the whole tender line is hanging off the line, um, or I can take the tender line off the bone out the loin, or just gives me every possible permutation. Um, so I try to stand out of the way. But um, this would be the udders for beef. So basically you're just cutting into shape, and you curl around. Uh, these would be the sirloin tips right here. It's the uh, oblique muscle. So once you cut the, the ham into shape, just basically put your hook. Not everyone uses a hook for uh, for pork. I was taught to use it because it's kind of like an extension of my hand. Um, keeps my hand away from the blade and it's easier. So right where the H bone is, I make a cut in. I come down and break the joint so the joint's broken. And I just pull down the rest of the pork in the wind. So where I can see the bottom of the H bone. And I just cut across so the uh, soft right there. Where's the bottom of the H bone? Can you point to it? It's right. See it here? Okay. That's the very bottom of the pelvis. And the bottom, it, it, this is a good cut. If there's a little bit of cartilage here, that means I'm not cutting into either muscle. Um, so, finish the cut. And I kind of just pull up. Um, and then the H bone, because you can take this out on the table, uh, or you can do it hanging. When you cut hanging, gravity is your friend because everything is coming down. Um, the advantage of being on the table is the is stable, uh, and I can flip it any way I want. But when I need to pull, um, you know, it's a little more ungainly, whereas opposed to here, all I have to do is use my body weight to go down. So the meat hook, the purpose of it is to stabilize the carcass, whatever you're working with. Um, so I clean out this it's called spider meat right here. And this is the only thing on the pig I definitely throw away all the time because uh, this is the uh, canal. So just because I don't know who's going to have to pay, who, uh, basically they dig a hole in the bung and tie it up. If they didn't do a good job, there could be not meat. So for throw away. Um, then the pH bone. Basically, it's, it's a very funny shaped bone. Like if you break the joint and mark the sirloin once, 
Can you kind of pull it down so you can see the rest of it? And just go around that note. 